That big story, three EF2 tornadoes hit Alabama Thursday. That's according to the National Weather Service. A trail of debris now from Sumter to Hale County. I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Art Franklin. The hardest hit area was the city of Sawyerville. The tornado left damage across the area for 25 miles. A woman died in the storm. Eight others were hurt. The EMA says 60 homes were damaged, 20 of them destroyed. CBS 42's Jake Chapman is taking a look at the road to recovery for the small town. Emergency crews, volunteer organizations, even neighbors were hard at work with the cleanup efforts Friday as the devastation seems never ending. But in order to move forward, they all say they'll have to work together. The road to recovery is underway in Sawyerville. And the damage left behind from Thursday's EF2 tornado I tell you just, uh, is still hard to process. I'd never seen, oh, I'd never seen it. I'd never thought this building been here over 100 years. It, it's just gone. You know, it's gone. It's really a, been a personal day to see how all these families were affected. Hale County EMA Director Russell Whedon says dozens of homes sustained significant roof damage, which is why over 50 workers are set to place these tarps first thing Saturday morning. But he says the road to a full recovery could take months, even years. Yeah, we, we still don't have all the debris up from our March tornado because these people, a lot of the people that uh, have the, their homes destroyed, they don't have any insurance. And so, you know, we're going to have to find them long term uh, place to live. So that's not easy. So it takes a long time. But through this trying time, groups like the American Red Cross are helping people find shelter, even a warm meal. We had sandwiches of all sorts. We had soup. Um, we had um, chicken tenders, uh, mac and cheese, green beans, you name it. Because they say the best way to press on is together. The people have really been generous as to give and to help out in these efforts. You know, we, we want the people that affect us to know that our community is behind them. And the people of Sawyerville are forever thankful. So wherever you are, whoever you were, we appreciate you for Sawyerville, Alabama. But we, from the depth of our heart, we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you were impacted by this storm and need assistance, we have all the information you need inside CBS42.com. In Sawyerville, Jake Chapman, CBS42 News, local coverage you can count on.